They really are. I mean, we had, uh, I thought we played a great first half last night. We, uh, 30 to six in the second quarter was a nice run for us. First quarter, we just weren't dropping shots in, but we were getting after them, turning them over, and, and that was a big part of it. Uh, second half, not as not as crisp, not as good, but we stayed pretty vanilla. We had a lot of schools there scouting us last night, and so we, we didn't go to any of our quick hitters or change offenses either, even. We just kind of stayed the course and, and got the work we needed done and got the win, so we're really excited about moving on. Talk about the work of the defense early on, especially Brooke Urban, who really set the she was touching everything. She was front of the press. They, you know, Alito had one really good ball handler, and we we identified who she was, and and we tried to get the ball out of her hands, and then she was she was touching the basketball, uh, steals, finishing at the rim. So Brooke got off to a good start last yesterday, and got us off to a good start. I think it's easy to make an argument. This is the best region. In the state, talk about the four teams that are going to be at this region. Oh yeah, this is I, this is the best region. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, you know, Timberview's there. They're the number one ranked team in the state. Uh, Love it, Cooper is who's going to draw Timberview, and we know how good Cooper is, and they're well coached. And then we have the Colony. Colony is very well coached as well. Um, you know, so it's just and then us. We're number two ranked team in the state, and so it's just a really good tournament. The winner that comes out of this has a really good shot of going on and winning the state championship because this is the best region in 5A basketball in the state. As you look at the colony, what in particular do they like to do? They've got two really, really, really good guards and they can just go, but they take the majority of their shots. You know, they, they the offense runs through them. And so we just have to count and know where those two girls are. But around them, they've got two really good shooters as well. And so, I mean, they can create offense for those shooters. So it's it's just going to, it's a challenge. I mean, if you're going to be in the regional semifinals, you know you're going to play a good opponent. So uh, they, they remind me of uh, Bob well last year, just their athleticism, that's who we had in the semifinals. Uh, but we, we just have to account for those two girls first and then maybe make them share the ball more than what they like to. How does your depth help your team in this uh, particular run? Our depth helps us tremendously. It, just, it, it goes back to the fact that, you know, we played 15 kids again last night. And uh, we can sub and we can wear people down. That's our goal. You know, that's kind of been the formula for our success the last two years. And so that's what we're striving. That's what we preach. Uh, West Texas toughness. Get on the floor. Wear them down with your depth. Uh, just trust the process. And our kids are good about doing that. So uh, I think it gives us a chance to be successful being that deep.